what's going on, brothers? <clears throat> so we got a court case here, and it's about paternity test, but that's not my focus. It's to focus on a lot of our black men who make very, very bad decisions in life. I mean, paternity tests should be mandatory, but as a so-called black, as a black man, we have to make better decisions in our life on the things that we need to do. When it comes to, we, we make a lot of bad decisions, selling drugs, you know, not doing the things that a man should be doing. And I don't, and a lot of times we blame a lot of our women for the mistakes that we have made. And that's something that we should never do. A lot of you brothers got to make better decisions out here because the woman is going to be on survival mode if she has a child. If she has your child, she is going to be on survival mode if you are not helping. As much as I hate child support, I don't, I cannot get mad at the woman putting you on child support because you're not doing what you're supposed to do as a man. That should be the last resort, but some of our women don't make it the last resort. So we could blame women all we want, but you brothers have to make a better decision on who you impregnate. But again, that's not my main focus because this brother in this court case made a lot of stupid decisions and then tried to make excuses for his decision making. And I'm going to I'm going to talk about that as we get into this court case. So let me go ahead and start 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 this. If Tony Mays says he started dating another woman after he and the defendant stopped having sex. And that's when the defendant said she was pregnant with his child. Tony claims he has always questioned paternity. And now the defendant denies him visitation. So he petitioned the court for a paternity test. Defendant Eureka Harvell says throughout her pregnancy, Tony was emotionally abusive and told her that she should terminate the pregnancy. Jerika claims she recently got a protective order against Tony because he left her a threatening voicemail. And she's countersuing for child support. Let me tell you something, brothers. And I'm just going to just speak on this briefly. You know, we had the Roe versus Wade, and you had a lot of women that tried to say that, what about rape? What about incest? I'm not sure of the percentage, but it's very low when women get pregnant off of incest and rape. The percentage is low. The majority of females that get a termination, and even the men that even push it, is because of financial issues, because they can't afford to take care of the child, so they end up terminating the child. That's, part, that's, main, that's one of the main reasons why a lot of our, a lot of our people do, child, do uh, abortion. It has nothing to do with incest and uh, rape. So I just want y'all to keep that in mind, but I just want to just put that out there. Let's continue. Sir, you petitioned for a DNA test today. Yes. Term of paternity. And ma'am, you're suing for child support for $5,000. Start with you. Um, I met Jerika in 2008, 2009, I met on the, off the internet. When I met her, I thought we was like together because you know, it was sex involved and all Where that. Where y'all from, Gary? Yeah, Gary, I'm from Gary. Not me. How did you know no. that? Huh? How did you know that? You just knew. Dressed like guys oh, from Gary. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know Gary's up the street. Yeah. Guys from Detroit, dressed like guys from Gary too, and I'm from Detroit, so that's no criticism. It's just a recognition of the same culture. Yeah. Not trying to be I met funny. you before. You probably just... See there? Know. Where were we at? In Gary. Gary? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're laughing, but I've done a lot of work in Gary, haven't I? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of folks know that I've done a lot of work on there. Anti-crime, worked with the mayor there, worked yeah. on a weapons uh, coalition uh, with the sheriff and the mayor there, and uh, even the sheriff over here in Chicago. Gun coalition was both Indiana and Chicago because... Chicago has and Illinois has very strict gun laws. And so it's very hard to get a hold of the semi-automatic weapons. Right. But in Indiana, they have gun shows 
which are what are referred to as the loophole. You don't have to show much. It's very lax gun laws. So they buy the guns. Let me um let me say something to that. So brothers, a lot, you know, Chicago's really it's not just Chicago, but I'm just going to speak of Chicago. A lot of those guns that enter Chicago, you know, the police actually put a lot of those guns on the trains in Indiana. And Indiana, you know, the border. So Chicago's not that far from Indiana when it comes to the border, the border of Indiana. So, of course, they have easy access. I know what the judge is saying, but they're getting it off these trains. These policemen are actually putting it on these empty trains. And, of course, they're getting the guns. And, of course, they're taking it to Chicago and using it, these illegal guns. So, brothers, it's a lot, brothers. It's a lot. But let's go ahead and continue in Indiana and then take them over to Chicago for them to kill themselves with. Um, and the same thing happens in other parts of the country. In uh, Georgia has very lax gun laws. So there's a pipeline from Georgia all the way up to New York because New York has very strict gun laws. So just a little education there uh, about Gary and the challenges they have and uh, his reference to me working over there. You and her met in 08? All right, and how did that turn out? Go from there. Well, it's like um, like when I when I, I hung out with her once before, and um, like I thought we was together, but the way she was introducing me, it's like we was friends. But but so after that, it's like I stopped liking her after that, and then I met her somebody else, and me and her was in a relationship. So right when I got in that new relationship, that's when Jerika came and told me she was pregnant by me. So. I was there during the pregnancy and everything. I was there when he was born. I cut the umbilical cord. I signed a birth certificate. But ever since the day he was born, I heard like one of her family members say, Jerika, you ain't gonna tell him. And so, you know, that's been stuck in my mind. How many what? times you heard that once or more? Just one time. Okay. What it family was, member? I don't know who it was. It was like she was giving, she was having birth and whoever was in her, like behind her was like, Jerika, you ain't gonna tell him. That's not the time that somebody would say that. Well, brother, that's when you should have got should have gotten the DNA test when you thought of when when that was put in your head. You should have gotten a DNA test then. So you have no excuse. None whatsoever. Brothers, DNA test should be mandatory. And that's something that you should fight for. So let's continue. Say that. They might say it uh, even a couple of days later. What well, might still be might still be early. <laughs> go on, go. You stick it with it. Go ahead. That's been stuck with me ever uh, since. <laughs> so, all right. So since then. So yeah, since then, you know, I just I just been trying to you know just be a, be a father to my son the best way I can. You know, just. So why do we wait ten years to get to this? Well, I've been trying to get a DNA test since he was born. They they kept telling me that I couldn't get a I had to get a lawyer to get one. I couldn't afford one at the Who time. Who kept telling you that? Uh, her cousin. It was my caseworker at the time. <laughs> her cousin was your caseworker. Well, it was her. It's her. Anybody cousin, she knew her was your caseworker. Wife. Yeah, they got you the were same. subjected to them they for your the same, child support They got analysis. the same last name. <laughs> Ooh. That's that's who I had to I go hope court the for. child is yours because if not, you got a raw deal. <laughs> you, you had her cousin was the caseworker <laughs> overseeing your child support status and wouldn't let you get a DNA test. Nope, make a lawyer. <laughs> In the meantime, keep paying my my cousin. Brothers, we got to do better research too. We really do. We got to we got to research. We can't just go off of what somebody says. Not every, everybody's not always correct. Cousin, her money. Right. Basically. <laughs> is that true? Your cousin is over his case. She was. She was my cousin at the time. And she was over but his she child did support not, case. She did not. She did not mess up any guidelines. She followed the rules throughout this whole case. He didn't find out that was my cousin until a year ago. That's why I'm here for this test, then. <laughs> I believe the child is his. So, go ahead, continue. Her cousin had your case. 
So as time go by, it's like I, I got to, I, I asked Rick, I say, can you bring my son to me? Because she stays 20 minutes away from me. So I, 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 I got to ask her, beg her, can you please, can you bring my son? Why she can like, you no. go get the child? I can. <laughs> I, I don't have a vehicle right okay. now, sir. I gotta got to. So this is where, this is the part that I'm talking about, brothers. You, you have a child. He's now 10 years old. And you're telling me that you have no way of getting your son. So again, it's really this is for me this is not about paternity i mean he should have already done that but it just goes it just shows the lack of fathers the fatherhood that we have out here you that's your excuse so you expect her to bring him to you and you have no way of getting her and you saying that you only stay 20 minutes away so you can't get a vehicle what you can't get an uber this is this is the type of stuff that i'm talking about brothers that we got to stop using excuses we got to stop using these silly excuses. That's your son that you should be raising. That's why I don't like that word co-parenting. I hate it. Because it makes you, because to me, that word co-parenting just basically said that you're not really a parent. And it's sad. Let's continue. That's the train to go get them, but she has a vehicle. Okay. And like, I haven't seen them since last year, June, when I was when I had him. So I just had him two weeks ago. Then when I finally get him, I go through his phone. He on the internet. He done made a YouTube channel. He cussing, talking about if you see this girl, you need to smack her and you need to beat the out of this man. And he's he's eight nine. Or nine? Nine years old. So I recorded him. I asked him, I said, Jake. Do you be at home by yourself? He said, yeah, my mom leave me at home by myself sometimes. So I'm like, how are you at home by yourself, but you can't be brought to me and I'm only 20 minutes away. So instead of her bringing him to me, she gave him to my other son's mother. And they, like my other son is 15, so they, he, he, they feel like he old enough to watch the kids and stay at home. So brother, that's still your fault. Again, you have to take 100% responsibility. Well. Yeah, you're going to have to take responsibility, brother, because you did piss poor planning when having a child and you have another son. So you don't know. So you have your oldest son influencing your younger son and you are not doing any type of influencing. So you have to take ownership, brother. At home and babysit. So I feel like I, I, I don't I don't I don't like Let me it. allow her to give some testimony. Go ahead. Your Honor, mm -hmm. he's just trying to make himself look good. Basically, that's right. what it is. Um, about a couple months ago, he just sent me a voicemail threatening my life. I had to get a protective order against him. Let's deal with the uh, background first. So you all okay. started da dating in 08. We started dating in 08. In 09. Um, um, I had my son in 09. Mm -hmm. January of uh, okay. 09. Throughout the whole, uh, my whole pregnancy, mm -hmm. he was like, um, you need to get an abortion. You're going to... You're going to mm -hmm. mess up your life. You're going to mess up mm -hmm. my life. Uh, basically telling me that I'm going to live off the state type mm -hmm. stuff. It's just just being emotional abusive to, mm -hmm. to me. Was he there, I hope. At the, uh, as he says, at the delivery? The only reason why he was at the delivery is because my godmother uh, called him and told him to get there. That Ma'am, he was still there. That The question was, was he there or not? Why you have to ex go, go through all that? The fact that he was there should have just should should have just ended there. I don't know why y'all women like to try to explain to try. You saying that he's making himself look good. So now you want to try to make him look bad. Good job. Good job. That was the only reason why he was there. And for him to say he signed a birth certificate, he could have asked for a DNA test right then and there, but he mm -hmm. didn't. My son has his middle and last name. Mm -hmm. My son came out with 12 fingers. Mm -hmm. That's not on my side of family. That's his side of family. Mm -hmm. Um, there's no doubt in my mind that I know he's the father. Do you want to address the uh, fact that he says you um, don't help facilitate him seeing his son? I, I feel that I shouldn't have to bring my son to you. If you can go and rap at clubs and hang out with your friends, you should be able to come and get your son. And if not, and she's absolutely correct. She's absolutely correct. So that already sounds like he ain't got no real job at all. So again, brothers, this is, you have to take 100, you have to take responsibility because this is your seed. The woman is going to scratch and crawl to do what she has to do to take care of her child or children. You have to do the same. It is your responsibility to raise your child, especially if you have a son. Especially if you have a son. Not to say that daughters are not important. 
But your son is your next generation. He's your seed. We got to do better out here, brothers. We got to do better. Son is just out of luck. Huh? No, I ain't giving you no ride. For what? I want to see my daddy. That's He don't say that, but... What is he saying? He don't want to see him? He don't, because he, he know how his, his daddy no, he is. He love me. Okay. He love you, but what do you, what do? You do? He what do my you... daddy do everything for me. That is not that's a lie. He told her he doesn't want to see you. That's not true. If, if he was He's trying to turn my son against me. That's what he's No, we're talking about what you just said. You said your son has told you he doesn't want to see his daddy. He has. He has. Did he say why? Because he said his dad argues with everybody. His dad, he told me, I don't be at home. He never around his son. He's out running the streets. Because he's nine. I feel like I, don't, I should be able to have communication with my son without me, you know, raising my voice. No, I she's should. saying that your son has told her when he goes to visit you, you're never there, that you're in the streets. So does no, your I'm son say he's I leaving? I Hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. You just sir. got a job after 10 ma'am, years. Ma'am, ma'am, talk to me. Your son says he leaves him there by himself. Yes, he says that as well. Yes. When did he tell you that? He tell me that all the time. All Every time, the time he goes with him. And yet, I don't you, even keep know. Send, yet you keep sending your son right. to a place where he at nine years old is there by himself. You do that? I do not even know where this man lives. When I when I did, and you, you don't know my... where your son is even exactly spending the night. Exactly, because he never tells well, me. Well, well, he see, never tells taking me. Taking him over and over. But when I send oh, him right. home, he comes. Neither home, one of you all are sounding clothes. good, very good about this. But the things you're saying, ma'am, that is true, Judge. You are absolutely right. Neither of them sound good right now, and all they do, and all they both doing is make trying to make themselves. They making each other try to look like trash. So it already shows that neither of these two are fit to be parents. You can't even team up. That's that's why I don't give a shit about this co-parenting. That co-parenting is bullshit. But again, brother, you should have you did piss poor planning when you gave your seat away. So it's your fault. I ain't putting it on the woman. She's a child. She has childlike mentality. So she's going to act like a child. It's your fault, brother. Damn, sound worse. It's, so it's, you're you're much more believable, I gotta tell you. And I'm just hoping that you're not doing this to escape what she claims. No, I'm trying know. to get out the streets. I'm trying to change my life around. I'm okay. actually in them streets in poverty. I grew up around all the drug dealers, all the drug addicts. I grew up, I'm just trying to change my life. Mm -hmm. And and I'm trying to move out of the state. So at least they they garnishing my check now. I, I might not make that much, but at least I'm doing something. I'm working. trying to get out the street and change my life around. Yeah. You know, I, the, the more that I figure out who I am as a person, I feel like a person should respect me that I'm trying to reach out to my son. Yep, I well, brother, I, I'll give you that. But at the same time, you took too long. You gave your seed away. So you should have already had a job or a career. Not talking about you trying to get out the street, because, again, you said that you have a son that's 15. So what were you doing when you had your first son? Because if, if you're still in the streets, you get no props for that. None. Yep, I do. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm a professional at selling drugs, but I feel like I want to be a professional at having a career, a job. I've been trying to get out them streets for the longest. All my people, my family, they dying in them. So I'm, I feel blessed to still be alive and still be strong and able to reach out for my son. I have a sophomore in high school. And I, I'm going through the same thing with him. But for this nine year old, I feel like I should be able to communicate with her. If she call herself a Christian woman of God, I should be able to communicate with a woman of God. You know, I'm not sure why the audience gave me get even clapping because you get no prop for me, brother. You have a son that you have already have a son already at 15 and you still trying to get out the streets. You get no prop for me. None. There's too many careers that you could have done to get yourself out the streets. But that's all you know. So that's all you want to do. So you get no props from me, bro. None. Ma'am, your claim for $5,000. I'm sure he probably owes that. Can you give me some background on it? Well, I put him on child support back in June. Good. And what was the uh, amount? Uh, he was supposed to pay between, um, well, he started off was been paying $42 a week. Mm -hmm. um, he had got it brought down to like $20 a week. My son is nine years old mm -hmm. and 
total is supposed to be $19,362. Within that nine years, he only has paid $4,017.55. Okay. Let me tell you something, brother. These, when it comes to child support, they have no problem taking your ass to jail. None whatsoever. And that's a $20 a week. He would pay. He had to pay forty two dollars at first, and then twenty dollars a week. So twenty times four is eighty dollars a month. And you, and you're telling me that you can't pay that. So again, we got to do better than this, bro. We got it, brothers. We got to do better than this. They have no problem putting your 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 ass in the jail, brothers. They will put you in jail over over child support. And now I just found out. That, you know, well, I didn't find out. I already knew this. But you know how much money that the, that the states, that these states are making off of child support? Billion. It's a billion dollar industry, brothers. Billion dollar industry. They trying to get all, they trying to get as much money as they can. So, brothers, this is why it's very important to protect your seed. But, again, this brother, he, oh, man, this brother needs to do better. But let's continue. All right. So he certainly owes at least 5000 Let me see that. All I can do is try. The last sir. time he paid, Your Honor, was back in July, which was $4. I feel like I shouldn't have to pay because when I get them, I'll send them home with bags of clothes and shoes. That and I get them. Cannot... Brothers, they don't give, sir, they don't give a shit about that. They're going to look at that as a gift. That's it. They're going to look at that as a gift. They don't care. They don't care. It's a gift. Fit. I get him bigger because he eight, he nine years old, so I get him bigger. So he, I just won't buy him no small clothes, well, and he grow out of them real. Fast. One thing for sure is she's acknowledged that you send clothes over there to him. Her yes. only complaint is that they don't fit. What type of receipts do you have? Uh, you these, do show a sincerity of uh, all my to receipts. Do what you can. This only this only half of them. I couldn't bring them all, but them my money orders that I. And let me tell you, like I tell other young men and women, it is always best for the woman or you to put yourself on child support because women and men, whomever the custodial parent is, they'll come to court and depending on their status in their friendship or relationship with you, they'll say they didn't get anything. And then you can pull out all these receipts yes, and yes, depending yes. on the judge, the judge might say, well, that was a gift. And um, I keep tags from their clothes. I've been keeping everything since they've been babies. Cause they Nobody cares about that, brother. Nobody cares. They want you on child support. The state, you belong, you now really belong to the woman and the state. When you are put on child support, you belong to the woman and the state. And the woman has control of how your life can go. For the next 18 years. If she wants to try to put your ass in jail. She'll do it. And the state. Is going to approve it. They all, My parents already told What'd me. What would you say? Stolen clothes? Is that what you're saying? Anything else bitter you want to say? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. And, that's the one, and you already know how the woman. And I told you. Most of these women have a childlike mentality. They have no problem making making you look bad. So the judge is correct. She is bitter. She gonna try to. She gonna try her best to make the man look like like trash, straight up trash. She don't care. They only care about self. But again, brothers, we got to do better out here. Hey, yeah, get the DNA, man. <laughs> And I'm seeing what a man I'm is doing the best I can. Giving twenty dollars at a time, thirty dollars. Like I just, lo I lost my every home. single month. In fact, he's given something. I'm I looking lost my at. car. I lost my home. Everything. I felt like since you got a car, five dollars, nineteen, twenty-five dollars, forty dollars. He has at least six hundred payments on here that I've seen. And I am convinced you're a man that wants to be with your son. All the but time. it's just something curious about you owing this amount of money and suddenly this is when you show up in court. I, I've been trying all these years all to right. get a DNA test. They've been sending me on the runaround. All right, sir. Uh, well, I'm glad we could help you and uh, help you to know that, yes, he is your son. So that, uh, <laughs> 
listen, brother. I mean, congratulate that's your son, but you ain't getting no props from me. You made you you seem like you've made a lot of bad decisions. And the thing is, you already have a child already out there, and you get a second. And then you get a second woman pregnant. You didn't learn from the first one. So again, that's your fault, bro. That's your fault. You got to take that L. And I'm going to grant you $5,000 to you, as it is uh, indicated. He owes in excess of that, but uh, the best we can give here is $5,000. Good luck to you both, and hopefully yes, you'll get a little more cooperation yes, with sir. seeing your son. Yes, sir. Brother, you need to, be, you need to get, get your shit together. That's exactly what you need to do. You get no sympathy from me. For the counterclaim. I'm kind of happy, you know, that he's mine now. I don't really have to stress anymore. I just hope me and his mother can just come to some kind of agreement, you know, and just have a good communication for the sake of our son. You know, I don't hate her or nothing. You know, I still got love for her, you know, because she still is a good female. She just got some some crazy ways sometimes. So I'm just glad I kind of just got some. Listen, brother, all females got crazy ways. That's just That's just the nature of the woman. You can't fix that shit. That's just the nature of the woman. They all got crazy ways and they're all they all have a childlike mentality. But you still need to take ownership, brother. You definitely need to take ownership. Got some closure now that this is my son. So I'm just going to continue to keep doing what I'm doing and be his father. So, brothers, I just wanted to show you that, you know, we can't just be making, we can't be out here making excuses for silly, for stuff that we took part of. You should have, again, we do piss, I've said this before, we do piss poor planning when having children. And then we want to blame everybody else. That That's a no-no. We can't do that. We got to do better, brothers. But on that note, like, like, share, and subscribe. I'm out.